Well, believe it or not, I'm back. The, uh, chemtrail planes are out there, but we were able to get the, uh, a little bit here of the moon as the sun set uh, a few minutes ago. It's probably about, I don't know, about a few minutes after 8 or 5 p.m. And a sliver of a moon here. I think they said it's about 5.8% illuminated, so a waxing crescent over here in the southwest sky. It's up about, oh, 18 degrees or so above the horizon. I was out here for a good, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes and I couldn't find it at all. But as the sun got lower and lower, it finally popped into existence here. <laughs> Not a whole lot to be seen. It's a it's that murky color out there at this time of day, so don't know if I can get this. Just the color of the clouds here through the trees. There was one that was bebopping by the moon. I don't know if I got it. I might have a few still pictures of it, but <laughs> that's how I found the moon. Oh yeah, spraying your toxins. <laughs> Looks like just uh, three of them. Somebody coming to meet you here. And make your X. But everything else is uh, pretty much set. Jupiter and Mars uh, already set, and Saturn's probably down below the horizon now too. Venus doing its uh, doing its own thing behind the sun, they say. I haven't been able to get it in ages, so. <laughs> About the only thing which I probably wouldn't be able to get would be uh, Neptune and Uranus over to the left somewhere. But later on, I will try for uh, Orion and Sirius, uh, if the sky allows. Anyway, it was great to be back and <laughs> get to talk to y'all again. I enjoyed that. I missed y'all. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go for now. Y'all take care, and I hope to be back later. Bye now.